And today we're going to make another beautiful salve. This is going to be a very skin healing, wound healing salve for people who have incisions, potential scarring, stitches, things like that. I went to dinner with a friend of mine the other night and she had a little incision on her face with the stitches and I asked her, I said, would you be interested in me making you a really great salve for that? She said, yes, please, absolutely. Because all the doctor told her to put on it was, can you get this? Vaseline. In other words, petroleum oil, <laughs> right? Full of chemicals, full of petrochemicals, no. So I'm making her this amazing salve and I'm gonna go through the different carriers I've got here plus the essential oils we're putting in it so much better than that nasty petrochemical gel. <laughs> Anyhow, and then I ran across a man, he's actually coming here to do some work for us tomorrow at the apothecary and he had an incision across his throat because he just had some work on his thyroid gland. I knew I was going to be making this for my friend and I always have extra so I said, would you like some of this too? And he said, oh my goodness, absolutely. So let's go ahead and talk about what's in this. I'm making a very small batch. I'm using about a half of a cup total carrier oils to about an eighth of a cup of my beeswax. The typical ratio that I use is one cup of carrier oil to one quarter beeswax. And so we're just cutting that in half for a half a cup to an eighth of a cup of the beeswax. Let's go ahead and talk very quickly about the uh, the oils I have here. So this is comfrey infused oil. I don't know if you can see just how green that is. It's a gorgeous dark green from the powerful chemicals in comfrey leaf. And I've got some more here because I didn't have quite enough. I'm going to go ahead and fill this Pyrex up to just a little over one third full. Okay, I'm gonna get a, a total of a, a half a cup, but just a little bit more and yes you'll notice I'm not really measuring I just know I know how much of these oils I want in here ratio wise because of the composition of the oil so this is actually an herbal infused oil uh, what I did was I took the herb and I um, macerated it and soaked it in a little bit of alcohol to, to speed the extraction process along. And then I infused it in the oil in a crock pot, in a double boiler system in a crock pot, I should say, for about three days. And it's, it's incredibly strong. <laughs> but so you can see where it's olive oil with the herbal matter in, in it. Now, comfrey is amazing for skin healing and tip in situations like this. It's one of my favorites. There's a lot of chemicals in comfrey that uh, make it work really well, but the main one for what I'm using it for in terms of cell regeneration is allantoin. So that's a chemical found in comfrey in high amounts. In fact, comfrey, the composition chemically of comfrey can be up to 29% allantoin. It can be as low as 10% too, but up to 29%. That is an extremely high amount of this beautiful cell regenerative chemical. If you're into anti-aging and cell regeneration after wound healing and reducing scar tissue and all of that good stuff, Comfrey is just absolutely amazing. Next up, we're going to talk about Tamanu oil. Now, Tamanu, you use this in small amounts. This is a tree nut oil from the Tamanu tree, and it's also absolutely incredible. It's a wonderful healing uh, oil, and it smells divine uh, to me. <laughs> This is a dark green brownish color, but it's also exceptional for working with pain relief, anti-aging also, so it's going to be beneficial to scar tissue. It's one of my um, carriers that I used in that salve that I made a few years ago. I'll link to it above where it was for my daughter-in-law's stretch marks and her scar tissue. So really, if you're a bodybuilder and you're working out, that, I'll link to it up here. You'll want to make that salve. But I'm going to go ahead and pour in just under a half to the half a cup mark. So I still have a little bit of room left. 
Now I just opened this bottle. I want to point out that this is one of the carriers, many of them are, but especially your precious carriers that do better in the refrigerator after you open it. I've got a special refrigerator over here that you can't see, but it's filled with my hydrosols that are handmade as well as essential oils that I have that need to be refrigerated and special carriers and things like they can do with some refrigeration. Okay, and you should probably do that too, especially if you go into production for people. All right, this next oil, this is raspberry seed oil. It's amazing also <laughs> for skin healing. It's a moisturizer. It tends to help retain water, which isn't really necessary in the case of these scars, but it's, it can't hurt. But in terms of like your own face, you could rub this on as a serum and it's just incredible, but it also helps with uh, inflammation in the skin healing process. So I'm just adding a dab in here. You can see here. And then putting this in up to the one half cup mark. All right, here we are. Beautiful. And I want to point out that, let me get a towel here. The raspberry seed oil and the tamanu oil are both cold pressed. So these are different than your herbal infused oils. Cold pressed oils is, are where you get a fruit or a nut or a seed and you press it and the oil comes out. So the oil is directly from the plant in, in, as opposed to this comfrey oil, which the carrier of it, the olive oil, came from the fruit of the plant, but the comfrey is the medicinal herb that we're using to infuse in the olive oil. So you see the difference, right? So we're using all kinds of oils in this salve. It's pretty exciting. Okie dokie. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my beeswax. And we are, oops, hello. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to the double boiler. We're gonna melt this down. And then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna talk with you about the essential oils that I have going into this special set. Okay, so here we are, we're over at the double boiler system. And basically all this is, it's a saucepan. It's filled with a bit of water, not very much. And then I've got my Pyrex as that I just told you about the oils and the beeswax. And I've got the handle sitting over the lid. This is just one way you can do it. I oftentimes will use a mason jar and just put it right in the center. And other, I've done this in many other ways. I'll sometimes do it in the crock pot if I wanna have it be in for a very long time for some reason, like a longer infusion. But it just depends. But this is a wonderful and easy way to use your kitchen tools to uh, work with your herbs. I should mention, I do have a towel there at the bottom. I always take a little uh, washcloth and put it at the bottom and that reduces the jiggling around of the glass against the enamel or the stainless steel or whatever your pot's made of. All right, so the beeswax is now melted into the carrier oils or the, yeah, the carrier oils. <laughs> I'm trying to get all these oils right. And now it's time for the essential oil. So let's go ahead and talk about what I've got going on here. So I'm going to be using a 1% dilution and that's a, a nice low dilution. It's perfect for if you have to apply something around the face or the neck, or if you're working with tender, tender skin, like on toddlers or elderly people. So this is a really good dilution to start with. And so what's gonna happen is the essential oils I have here, which this is about two milliliters only. This is a combination of lavender, lavandula, and gustifolia. And I've got 10 drops of lavender. And I've got frankincense, this is buswellia. And I believe the species I have here is Carteri E, really nice for the skin. And I've got 10 uh, drops of that. And then I've got uh, bourbon geranium. And this is uh, actually a Pelargonium uh, graviolens, and it's really helpful as a skin penetrator. So really love these three oils for skin care. And I did use 10 drops of the uh, geranium as well. And it smells really good. So I think you have to be thinking about scents. Like if you're gonna be working with salves and oils and carrier oils, like each of these carrier oils has a scent. The essential oils have a scent. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour these drops in here. Put my little, isn't that beaker cute? <laughs> I can set it aside. I've got a glass stir rod, what I used actually to get make sure the beeswax was all stirred into it. I'm just gonna give this a really good stir. 
to be sure that the essential oils are fully dispersed in the oil. You don't want any pockets of essential oil hanging out together. You wanna to be sure everything is mixed up really well. And essential oils are soluble in uh, carrier oil like we've got going on here, so it's perfect. I also want to mention that I did sterilize these two inch tins. I sterilized them because I always do. <laughs> No, I sterilize them because they must be sterilized. It's just the nice thing to do. You can just pull them right out of the package and use them like that, but I just don't recommend it. It's not a good idea because you don't know what chemicals have been used to make the product. And I just believe in like ultra safety. Okay, there we go. Make sure there's nothing in there. All right. I have a little bit of this left, extra left over and I'm really happy because I'm gonna use it on my cracked heels <laughs> or something along those lines. All right, good, this is beautiful. All right, let me grab another clean towel here and I wanna show you a quick tip. If you get your oils wiped up out of your glass containers before they harden, it's a lot easier to clean them. So I really, this is a little hot because it was in the saucepan, but I'd like to just give it a good wipe out and voila, I just have to wash it and it's good to go. My glass stir rod, wipe it off, it's good to go. And there you have it. I've got my three salves. I'm gonna let these set up. You have to let them sit for, just, a lot of people say several hours, but to be honest, a lot of times they're set up a long time prior to that. But isn't this amazing? Three beautiful oils, Tammany, raspberry, and comfrey infused olive oil, a little bit of organic beeswax, your three essential oils, lavender, frankincense, and geranium. And isn't this great? It's so much better than um, going to the drugstore and getting that commercial petrochemical filled stuff <laughs> to put on your skin. That's just so gross. So way better, way cleaner, way healthier, so much better for your skin. And if the Tamanu and the raspberry are a little bit expensive, so if you wanted to just go with your comfrey infused olive oil only, that would be fine. And this is practically free. If you grow comfrey, and comfrey is not a um, unsustainable plant. It grows everywhere. Uh, it's easy to buy if you can't um, grow it yourself. And there you go. Super inexpensive, extremely effective, extremely safe. And then you've got your essential oils. And none of these are going to kill your bank account except maybe the frankincense. And if you don't want to squeeze the frankincense in, go with just the lavender and the geranium. It's very simple. All right, I hope you enjoyed this quick video on this beautiful salve. It's going to help my friends with their incisions and their potentially just heal up that skin really fast and be gorgeous. <laughs> All right, I'm Heidi Villegas with Healy Harvest Homestead. I want to just mention before you go, please and subscribe and share this video. And I would love it if you did that. Please comment below with any questions you have. And if you're interested in any specific salves or oils or butters or bombs or whatever, leave me a comment in the comment below. So glad you're here. And I've got some free gifts for you. If you are interested in relaxing, I've got my guide to how to relax with herbs and oils. This is 24 pages with excellent information and lots of recipes and remedies. And I've also got my, I'm gonna, I've got a lot of them here. So I'm just gonna show you two. The other one is my herbal remedy guide with cheat sheet. And it's really nice for your home apothecary. It gives you a rundown of 10 different herbs and how you can easily and quickly use them along with some remedies. All right, thanks for being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye.